currently man down. I'm not going to sell them. We're good. We spent literally almost all of our money. Okay. So that's done. This is done. Let's go here. Uh, we've talked to everybody except for this guy. I have a feeling he once lost a job to this guy, but that might have been different. A different Along Wee. His name is Along Wee. Along Wee. Weird. How warm is Canada right now? Today is nice. Update the dog lizard? I will. I will. Uh, but I can't afford it right now. I'd ask what you're up to lurking through the feud at night, but then you might ask me the same. Okay, this is cool. Let's try this. We're going to gain cards, slurred speech, and tipsy, but he will like us. Uh, so those cards, all they do is take up slots in our hand, which is bad. Um, especially slurred speech, I guess. We're also giving 45 shills. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. Give 150 shills to your friend. Grants first aid. Whenever you remove a debuff, heal five health. Ah. Okay. Yeah, so... The next time we get some cash, we should come in here and, like, have some drinks with people to get them to like us. And then we can learn what their boons are and decide if we need to pay anyone to actually love us, you know? Is it worth it? No. I don't, not for that guy. <clears throat> have you seen Drunk by the Living Tombstone? What's that exactly? Give somebody 150 shills to get them to love you seems pretty cheap. In my experience, it hasn't worked. Maybe you're doing it wrong. You and Nadan get all riled up by your hatred of the Admiralty? Mostly, he just seems like an opportunist to me. Well, I'm glad you found each other. There's opportunities aplenty for a crook like him and an arm like yours. It's getting late. Anything you need before turning in? Uh... It starts bloated into your battle deck. I love that. I think we're good. Oh, we could play with the untrained Shrewglet. I'm just going to pop into my room and play with my Shrewglet. You gesture towards untrained Shrewglet who saunters over. <gasps> what? Oh, this is the best. Let's let's do a little petting. Netflix and shills. Netflix and shrugs. Let's pet him again. And I like how we keep calling him Untrained Shrewglet. Adorable. Okay, set a new name. Oh. This game just like ramped up in quality significantly for me. This is Walter the Shrewglet. Walter the Shrug. Walter the Shrug. That's a good name for you. That's sick. Pet Walty. Poke Poche. Koshesia. That's adorable in uh, Avarian. Okay. Walter the Shrug. Let's rest. Say, hey, somebody came in here looking for you earlier. They didn't look friendly. Maybe sleep with one eye open tonight? Who was it? Said they wanted to hire you, but if you ask me, they looked like trouble. I sent him packing, said you were out on the road, wouldn't be back for a few days. Still, I've got my blades under the bar if we need him. Wish I'd been here sooner. Would have liked to seen you give Cassio a walloping. I mean, get walloped by Cassio more like. Cassio's the main, like, bad dude. Or dudette. Uh, yeah, she betrayed your family. And now views you as a threat. Ashio, well, could have she could have laid me out in our youth all the same. Should I be worried? You were the one who taught me how to fight. What you rewrite in history? Cassio taught you too. 
You know her moves better than she knows yours. You got this. Or remind me later to teach you a different way to throw a punch. I taught you when we were little, of course, but I'm feeling it now. Maybe that technique wasn't so good for longevity. Don't expect you to make it to your age anyways. You Hessian better. All right. Bedtime. I think we're going to day three. What's up, cooler man? Something's not right. In the dim light, some of the shadows look darker than usual. Who's there? Zin. Jake's assassin? I don't know any... We don't know anything about this Jake's faction. A figure steps out of the shadows heavily armed. If it thinks like an assassin and slinks like an assassin... <laughs> this would have been easier if you'd gone to sleep, Hunter. Not too late to shut your eyes if you prefer. Okay, so this is... So, I'm assuming there's like a boss fight at the end of every day. Uh, the previous boss fight went well. Now, we could just dive into the actual boss fight here. You have first strike and a bonus action on the first turn. Uh, you're in an isolated location so you can get away with murder here. <laughs> uh, but no escape. If we demoralize him though, I don't know if maybe we reduce his health or something going into it. I kind of want to see what happens. He's only got 30 resolve, so I figure we go for it. What's the rudest wake up you can think of? Oh, an assassin trying to kill me is pretty up there. Alright, so Slimy Shrewglet. Sal draws one less per turn. Wait, wait, wait. Does he have his own Shrewglet? Or is this because my Shrewglet sucks? What's up, Jeff? Thanks for the five months, man. Now, what is this game? Interesting. Looks interesting. Yeah, it's really good. This is uh, Grifflands. If you didn't pick that up already. Uh, he's also got all of these. When destroyed, gives in one impatience, and we'll start the next battle with two additional existential crisis. Oh. And at the end of the, each turn, it's going to increase the fighter's panic meter by one. Okay, so these are the things that we ultimately want to destroy to get the, uh, the upper hand in the next battle. Your untrained pets give enemies buffs in negotiations. I think I'm going to need to get a refund on Walter Shrugs here. Ah, uh, this could be good. Attack a random enemy argument once and draw a card for each enemy argument. He's got like... Oh, these are bounties, I guess. So he's got three arguments. Still pretty good. Oh, so nice. Oh, maybe these count as arguments. Maybe bounties count. That was a lot of attacks. That was a lot of attacks. Okay, so this thing is still taking four. Let's, I'm going to play this and just hope that it gets applied here. Uh, but I guess I should play this at the end. So maybe what I'll do is go... Um, evil Eye to double the damage. And then we hit this impending doom. We don't have any composure to steal, so either one doesn't matter what we play. There's the seven. Excellent. The down... Uh, yeah, the, I, I don't know if... Maybe killing these off earlier is not that good. Because his intents are going to come in stronger, right? Yeah, maybe that's like not... Maybe that's not the play. Oh, that was that was pretty lucky, but I'll take it. It could have went to either one. Okay. 
So now, this thing's getting attacked. Got crafty. His intents are hidden. That's always good. There's only three resolve there, though. Let's go uh, improvise. I'm going to put this on the... Put this up here. I kind of have to do this. And then I have to do this. Because I don't know what his attacks are like. And this doesn't help me at all. Ooh, that was... That was okay, that worked out great. That worked out great. <laughs> oh no! Can't really do anything. I'll put Bulldoze in. Still don't know what he's doing. He could be just attacking us. Uh, this has a resolve of 8. It's not going to get targeted because we just played it. So it's either this one or this one that's going to get hit hard. With three intents. But this is some damage going out every turn, which I like. I'm gonna I'm gonna use up our composure here. Probably. But let's see how this plays out. Ouch. Oh god. Oh god. That hurt. That hurt. That hurt. That hurt. Okay. Let's brainstorm. Smarts could be good here. Let's go smart so we get more actions. I gotta get rid of this one too so for the card draw. Like both of these kind of need to go. Those two bonus damage and hits all your arguments, spending an influence. But I don't have any influence to spend. I think we're gonna do the gain here. Hey, we did get the one extra up there, which is nice. So if I can deal three, then we're good. This will cost one of ours. This will gain composure. Let's prioritize that. Actually, we can play both. Okay, so now we see the intents again, which is nice. And we'll spend one of our influence to play this one on the core argument. And then I think we'll just play this one here too. Rolled high. Very nice. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get this low so that I want these all to kind of be low and take them out kind of at the same time if possible. Because if we take these out, then they get these buffs here. And that scares me because he's hitting way harder now. Yeah, crossing fingers always helps. Yeah, I I need I need some luck here. Okay, he's going for bulldoze. I mean, I'm kind of okay with that. Kind of okay with it. Proper channel. It's going to target an opponent argument each turn for one to one damage. Increases by one whenever your core resolve takes damage. Pretty good actually. We can play all of these cards at least. Let's go here. It's going to help us with influence as well. I can apply six composure here and save that. And then this thing's taking two. If I want, I can put this one on to make sure that it's gone. 
Now, does this retarget? Yes, that's so sick. Okay. Let's go up here and protect Bulldoze. Very good, very good, very good. Okay, intents are hidden. That does, that sucks a little bit. Sucks a little bit. But now, Enhanced Overseer is looking pretty, pretty good. And if I go with Evil Eye, that's going to be pretty strong as well. I'm going to use this here because we also uh, steal the Composure. Then, I think I'm going to go Dominance. Over here. Then what we can do is use this to clear out a little bit of damage there. Then we go Evil Eye. And now we're doing 4 to 8 a bunch of times over here. So we managed to take out two of those bounties, actually. That was sick. <laughs> There's some freaking cool synergies, man. All right. Spend one influence, deal additional four. This is pretty good. Improvise a card from your discard pile. We have one of these, right? We have an intrigue. I believe. Yeah. We just have to get that influence going. And I think one of our cards that we upgraded used to have an influence boost. But then when it upgraded, that part got removed. Let's, let's take another one of these. Okay, we have three upgrades too. So here's an improvise. Improvise plus. Choose one of five cards. Really good. Choose one of five. Uh, or or from a pool of upgraded special cards. Hmm. Let's take the let's take the extra options. An upgrade on bulldoze. Gain four composure when played. Or gain one dominance when played. I think I'll take the... I think we'll take the Composure. And then Brainstorm. Draw three cards and gain two Composure or draw four. Let's take Composure as well. Just remember, she wouldn't want me to have killed if she didn't consider me a sizable threat. But no problem, you'll handle what Cassio couldn't, right? The Assassin doesn't answer. So now we fight. And, uh, and we have those buffs, or I guess... Uh, Zin has the debuffs. This is self-defense. You're in an isolated location. You can get away with murder. And our little... I hope Walty makes it here. Yeah, you have to do both. Because the first one was just to weaken them. So now we go into this battle. We have an advantage. So you'll see... Um, uh, where is it here? Existential crisis. So at the end of each turn, increase this fighter's panic meter by 8. And that's pretty insane because he's got 103 right now. So that's because of those things that we destroyed, those bounties, in that argument section. He inserts a bleed card into your draw pile whenever Zin deals damage to you. Look, our guy only has seven health. Holy smokes. Seven health. Okay, let's negate that as much as we can. I think we're going to go um, vertical slash here. Apply flat five bleed, but we can only use this once. Or we can take three damage and apply three bleed, but I think this will work out better overall. So now he's taking five plus eight. This gets reduced by half. I don't know how it works if it's an odd number. Hey, he's revving up. He's revved up now. Attack damage is increased by two. God, we just got to try and keep him alive. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. Let's improvise. Improvise. 
Let's give the extra defense here. Oh, it's only going to be for us. Can I not use this on him? I don't like that. Don't like that. This is a guaranteed four. Oh, right. So our power is being increased by two as well because of our pet. Is that what happened there? Oof. God. We might not have this guy around for very long with this bleed. He's going to take one bleed here. Move a random debush, debuff and replenish. We want to give a sticky to any of these. What's he doing here? He's going for a status. An attack card from our draw pile. What do we have? We have terrorize. Possible. Actually, all of these are pretty good. And if this card gets improvised, that's pretty solid. So I actually think that's a good option. Oh, we actually choose too. Yes. Okay. So let's go bleed here. Look at that. Woo! Okay. 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 I missed it. I missed it, you guys. I missed it. I should have sharpened. I should have sharpened first, and all of those would apply an additional two bleed. Good damn. Okay, missed opportunity. Missed opportunity. Yeah, definite missed opportunity there. Oh, well. Oh, he's... Oh, he heals. He heals when he hits. How do I know that? Maybe it's because he's untrained or something. Maybe if he's trained, we get to, like, know more of the stuff. Okay, so he's got counter now. So if we attack him this turn, he's going to hit back. Uh, let's use this opportunity to destroy this. I'm going to use the requisition. Hopefully get a, a defense card. There we go. And I'm going to go with uh, the Oshnu glue here. And we're going to go sticky on Terrorize. Because it's 8 damage. And if we can make him uh, panic. Or if we get the kill off of this. Then we heal a bit. Which would be kind of nice. What's up Dodo? Welcome back man. <laughs> just the chat's like all the F's in chat. Yeah, we're doing it for the guide. I mean, someone's got to build it, right? The end of your turn, take three damage and expend this card. Yeah, cool. Hey, at least he's not attacking the pup here, but... So he's going to heal here, right? He seems to heal when he attacks. He's going to go down to one health. Um... I, I guess we just throw out all of our um, things here. Or maybe we go with the um, improvise here and do the bleed again. Yeah, I think that's the way to go, right? Oh, we didn't get the option. That's unfortunate. Let's roll the dice on this one. Uh, wait, why is it four to seven? Oh, because of the power. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. We're going to take six. That's fine. 
We heal up. He takes the one from the bleed. Oh, right. I forgot. I, I lost count of the, um, of the panic. That's right. I should have thought about that. If we do murder him, all of our attacks apply bleed while this is in your hand. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. But we also don't know what his boon or bane is. I know, I know chat always wants to murder. Like, you guys, everybody's just like, kill them all! <laughs> this is a cool card, though, and it goes with our bleed. Nobody messes with my shroog. Okay? Nobody. Finn's Razor. We got Resolve back. We get to pick battle and negotiation cards. Draw and discard. Double the panic meter. For three. Or Shadow Mastery. Whenever you discard a card, uh, we, we can't do a discard. Probably Doom. This is like the thing that you would play near the end, right? When their meter's building up. It costs three, but that's that's why we would use it there. Target argument, you lose, loses two resolve and you gain two resolve. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. And then we have some upgrades. So stab is getting upgraded to rooted stab or apply a wound. Um, if he's wounded... Wounded. Attacks inflict one bonus damage on this target. At the beginning of their turn, reduce wound by one. So they'd only have it. So you you basically play this first and then play other cards. Um, it really depends on where you draw it. This one's a lot more consistent. Or defense heal. Nice, but you can only use it once. Or gain two counter. Uh, let's go with the heal. Apply seven defense. Let's do this one, too. Now, the, the downside with upgrading some of these is that they get expended. And, uh, like, it looks like we have a, a decently sized deck. Making sure that I speak very specifically. We have a decently sized deck. It's of average length and it's a girthy deck. But the problem is, is that a lot of these cards have expend. And so... In battle, it gets reduced pretty heavily. You play it as soon as it comes into hand. You want their panic to go high as soon as possible. Yeah, but don't you... I was going to ask the question about... Um, about the panic, because... I guess we'll have to take a look at it when we draw it. Zin dies at your feet. Fish charges into the room, moving spryly for a Kradeshi her age. That's a stranger I told you about. You all right, kid? Cassio sent them. Typical Cassio, leaving others to clean up her mess. Takes you both a while to deal with the mess, but when you're done, it's cleaner than it was to start. There, complimentary house cleaning. Now you should sleep soundly, in theory. Fish stands guard by your door for the rest of the night, leaving you catch up on your shut-eye. Okay. Whenever you gain influence, deal two damage to a random enemy argument. In one action at the start of your turn, you can no longer own a pet. Not happening. Um, I really like this. I really like this. Interior drill. This is okay. I find that the enemies don't use composure very much, but it's really close to being upgraded. Then you would steal six, but it's like... And I don't know if we get to choose which one gets removed. Maybe draw a status card, draw a card. Hmm. 
We only have one status card. I think one of our one of our uh, boons gives us something at the start of a fight, though, right? Let's see. Yeah, okay, so we actually pick which one goes. Uh, maybe we just don't maybe we just don't take one. Just take the shills. I'm happy with the with the ones we have compared to these. This one could be okay, but I still feel like we're a bit light in gaining influence. Uh where is it? These are all to spend influence. This this gains us influence there. Um, but that's like that's like it now. We really need to find more ways to to build influence. We need to find cards. I'll take the cash. <clears throat> hey Daniel, what's up, man? Your bed calls to you. Dreams of wealth and influence keep you warm through the night. That's my life. That's how I sleep well at night. Okay, guys, we're we're two days down, and like I think we're crushing. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good. Where is the pet? I don't know. Oh, do you mean the real pet? <laughs> Here. Walter's in dreamland right now. Dreamland. Find fish behind the bar, rigging the bar top to snap with electricity. She turns off the current as you approach. You know customers drink at this bar, right? Customers ain't got nothing to worry about. With more, no more assassins on my watch, that's a guarantee. This will take a while to set up, so why don't you go bother Nadan, see what you can do to get closer to Kishio. I'll have a job for you later if you're interested. She turns back to the bar and flips the switch. Clearly, you've been dismissed. Okay. We need to go make some money. We need to go make some money. Let's see what the activity is here. Uh, I don't know if it's always resolve or sometimes composure. Yeah, okay. So it's resolve again. We can keep that in mind. The Dan has another special mission. Let's go. New to this game, can someone give me a rundown of the storyline, Death Knight? So really, like, simply, um, we're a bounty hunter, and we're tr we're being uh, targeted by this person here, Cashio, this big debt broker. Uh, apparently, we, like, had a close relationship with them previously in life, and they taught us, like, some of the skills that we know, but then she betrayed our family and now views us as a threat. So our ultimate goal, I think, is to try and take her down. Along the way, we've met a whole bunch of different people. Some people like us, some people hate us, uh, some people love us. And depending on that relationship, they've given us certain buffs and stuff. Um, but that's like the general gist. The general gist. Well, Ladan, what extra legal shenanigans do you want me to get up to today? Don't know if I appreciate you making light of the work we do here, but as long as you get the job done, I guess I can't complain. I got two jobs for you today. Pick the one where you'd be most effective. Ooh, yeah, we're getting into some we're getting some high priced espionage. Okay, what do we want to do? Prisoner exchange or wounded animals? The spree has captured a prisoner. The Admiralty is willing to exchange prisoners if you can get them to the exchange rewards, the exchange location in one piece. Or the spree used hit and run tactics to cripple an admiralty patrol. The survivors are stranded in the field waiting for backup. Get there first and finish them off. So both of these give a graft. This one gives slightly more shills. So I think for that reason, we're going to go here. Deck building roguelite, similar to say the, Slay the Spire. Uh, not quite Mr. Oddshot. Great name, by the way. Um, this one's a lot more has a lot more like RPG mechanics and it plays completely differently. I cut my losses, but that's the one that I had important intel in their brain, intel I still need. 
So I need you to bust them out of jail. It's a big ass, don't you think? A jailbreak? Relax, Salty. I've got someone on the inside. An officer so deep in my pocket, they'll never worm their way out. You just roll up stinking like a hunter and pretend you're, you've been hired to collect. You do, then bring him back. And I'm that much closer to liking you. Okay. Let's do it. I'll see where the job is done. Okay, so here's the prisoner exchange. Uh, we got to get our little buddy trained here. So if we, <laughs> if we can keep him alive, that's where our money is going to go. Yeah, I don't. It's weird. Like, how do you describe this game to people? I'm I'm struggling with how to describe it because if you just call it like a roguelike deck builder, everyone's like, "Well, okay, is it Slay the Spire or is it Monster Train?" But it's like. It is, but it ain't. You know? So it's a, it's a weird one. Does sparring help train the pet? Uh, probably. But I, I can't remember if we had to pay for it or not when I was there. Deck builder RPG? Yeah. Do I like it? I'm like addicted to it. Like I've, I'm having such a good time. And like, <laughs> I don't know. We've already we've already been streaming for like two hours, and I feel like it's just yeah no it's really fun. I'm having such I'm having a really good time, and honestly like sponsored or not, I'm thoroughly enjoying myself. Um, I do have some critiques like, for example, I wish it was I wish these were voice acted. These conversations are not long, which is nice, but I wish the conversations were voice acted. I think we just add a nice little touch. Problem is you've got like. Uh, where is the, where's the compendium here? The problem is you would have, you've got 300 or 577 possible characters to unlock. Uh, you obviously couldn't voice act all of them, but even if you had like samey voices doing the same stuff, there's probably just too much dialogue for that. You got it. I'm here to meet with the, uh, informant. Is that what we're calling him? More like a worm slithering to avoid the spade. Take him, Hunter, but don't hesitate to lop his head off if he slithers too far. The spree bandit shoves Sandrano towards you, the Admiralty clerk, with a force that leaves him scowling. All right, all right. I said it helped, didn't I? You don't sound very sure. Nadan and his goons made it plenty clear what you'd do to me if I didn't play nice. We're on the same page, Hunter. Just wish it brought... Bought me some fair treatment is all. Kuga spits at Sandrano's feet before marching off to some new enterprise. Oyster shucker. What an insult. So now we have Sandrano and our pet. It's good. Some more targets. Let's go, Hunter. The sooner I'm out from under this heel, the better. First time checking out your Twitch. I love your playthrough series on YouTube. Thank you so much, Zura. Yeah, like... Kaz's reply, he's saying, uh, being a deck builder is the only similarity. Everything else is different. Yeah, exactly. That's why I, I think it stands on its own. And it's crazy, like, right? I don't know what it is, but in the past, like, six months, there's been so many deck builders. And I'm really, I'm really starting to enjoy that genre a lot. It's not something that I... <laughs> Thanks, Makisa. <laughs> That's not a genre that I spent a ton of time with in the past, but man, there's been so many. Somebody in chat was yesterday asking me about um, a game called like Deck of Deck of Ashes. I don't know if anybody's had a chance to play that, but Kiza, bro, thank you so much, dude. That's very very kind of you. I I really appreciate it, man. Thank you. Meet at the exchange point here. Okay, let's go. It was you. Okay, yeah. I thought it was somebody that I recognized too, but... So, have you played it laying low or what? Hold up, Hunter. I can't let you pass. I ain't got a problem with you, but Sandrano has too much to answer for. Hey, Nadan promised I'd be sent back unharmed if I help out. This is me helping. Gains a drunk argument when negotiating? <laughs> Look at that. Okay. I don't give an urchin what damn promise. It's blood for blood, as he damn well knows. You've killed too many of mine. I'd rather watch my own skin crawl away than let you do it. Calm down, I get it, but I've been hired to do a job. Your job is to get Derno back, right? Well, 
That's what I want too. Let me kill Sandrano. <laughs> and I'll help you rescue Derno. Wow, okay. So if we refuse, then it's a battle. I... Uh, they have 40 resolve, which is like, we've beat 40 resolve before. Plus, we've got our buddies there. But our pet's going to, because he's untrained, he's going to give that little buff to their side a bit. And I don't know what Sandrano is going to add to the to the deal. But let's see if we can negotiate our way out of this. Okay. Buy the book. Cannot target core arguments. That's fine, but it's 10. I like that. Give it to me. Didn't get it. Okie dokie. Uh, so here's the drunk thing. When destroyed, remove a random intent. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Target argument loses two resolve. Man. We're going to take a ton of damage here. I could gain some composure to offset that. This thing's going to get targeted with two. But if it gets targeted at the end of the round, I guess that could still work. That could still work. I could evil eye this card as well. Or I could use just both of these. Oh, we got the three. My God, that's disgusting. So this is going to hit for two. We're going to block. If we're lucky, we're going to block all of this. Let's uh, improvise a card here. Okay. Let's do uh, this one. This is a risky play because we're going to go from essentially zero to eight. But. Five ain't bad. And then we can kill it with this. So we avoid taking any damage. Yeah, now we're laughing. We're laughing. Odd master of the odds. Don't lie. I enjoyed I enjoyed math class. When a hostility card is played, increase count by one. Adds one damage to all intents as well. Okay. Okay. Okay, this is gonna survive. I think this is a card I could get rid of. Uh I, we don't have enough ways to gain influence for this to be good. Uh this is gonna be a lot of attacks. Let's go uh, Evil Eye here. I'll take that. I'll take that. So we get our draw back up now. Um, okay. I guess we go Smarts. Oh, yeah. Frick. See, now this thing's going to go. Because it's taking five. Uh, okay. Let's go smarts here. Planning on doing more Desperados videos? Uh, maybe. I was thinking of maybe saving that for some stream stuff. Uh, and the only reason why is because each mission is very long. Uh... Unless you know what you're doing. But if you're playing it blind, they're, I, I would say at least an hour. Sometimes more like 90 minutes. Especially as the game gets harder, I can imagine that's going to stack pretty heavily. Okay, at least it's targeting this argument. But the carryover is going to hurt. Draw three and gain two composure. Apply four to all of them. Let's do this first. I mean, okay. We'll play both of these at the end, I think. 
Maybe I should get rid of this. Yeah, let's get rid of this. Let's just calm him down a little bit. You know what? Let's actually just use a uh, wide... Wide uh, deflection here to protect this one. And then... Let's hit this here. Oh, we got the three. That's disgusting. Now we got some influence too. So if we want, we can spend that to play this one. I don't think we need to. I think we save our influence. I think we save our influence here. Okay. So now he's dealing like more reasonable damage. Where are these going? Oh, this one's going here for two. He's got greedy. When destroyed, lose 10 shills and you double your actions. Hmm. This can't target core arguments. So I could do that, lose the 10 and then go to six actions, but then I can't really... Can't really benefit from that. So I might as well just leave it there. Let's go uh, boosted evil eye. We're going to put some damage in on the core argument now. Uh, we're going to do the low blow. And then we're going to do... Gain influence. Okay. Good thing we didn't kill that. And I think we just let that one pass. We're going to take one damage here. This thing's still going to survive. I have good hair. You haven't seen me without my cap. Oh, really? I normally don't wear a hat. Uh, the last... Last week, I was wearing a hat often because uh, I quarantine hair to the max. Yikes. Can I kill him this round? Ooh. Well, that's invulnerable, so I can't kill that. But that'll help me. Let's gain dominance here. So our attacks hit harder. Uh, I have influence, so I can get this to hit harder. That should hit for seven. Yeah, sick. Okay, we got him. See you later. Spend two influence. Double composure on all arguments. Hmm. Um, this one has worked out kind of nice for us. Let's take that. I really want to, I'm going to have to probably buy cards that give us influence because we're really struggling there. And earlier we had more opportunities to gain influence, but I think since we upgraded some of our cards, we've lost that. Hear that, Sandrano? You're getting a reprieve. Once the dance done with you, he'll leave you like so much trash. And maybe someone tells your bosses who you really work for. You'll be alone. Then I'll find you. Prec leaves, but it looks like the ghost of her threats might linger with Sandrano for a long time. He'll get over it. Right? You found Durno flanked by an admiralty guard. Alt there, officer. That's close enough with a stranger in tow. I'm a hunter. I've been hired to help escort a dangerous prisoner. Named Sandrano. I've been asked to escort Durno to questioning. Request that they send over Durno or attack the guards. He's got two wild Vrox there. I feel like that's a lot to deal with and we might lose our pet. So let's, uh, let's be sassy. 
Yeah, except for that one starting card that you upgraded. Exactly. Yeah. Why there is a new hero? Uh, what do you mean, Gog? Florida Floridanian, thanks for the 22 months. Rod, M737, thank you for the prime sub, buddy. Okay, his core argument. At the start of Halit's turn, incept... Ah, oh, planted evidence. I hate... I hate planted evidence. When destroyed, receive 30 shills. Okay. He's got four arguments here. This could work out. I think we go dominance first so that this becomes stronger. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's try and get rid of this one, the Whispered Rumors, first. That's a pretty good start. That's good. There's nothing I can do to protect this one, because this intent is going to hit it anyways. It's kind of unfortunate. I could use this to guarantee this kill, but this does an extra attack if that's a round. So maybe let's do this first. Oh my God. Whoa. Just slammed it all into the core argument. I'm okay with it. I'm gonna go for the money. Hey, Benbo. Just wanted to say I'm here because your Half-Life VR series on YouTube. It was entertaining. Thank you. This game is a little different. <laughs> yeah, this is a little different from Half-Life, Alex. You could say that. Yes, sir. Interrogate for four, dealing three to six on that planted evidence. Mon four. Sick. Okay. Um... We will play Bulldoze here. I should have played Bulldoze first, actually. I wouldn't have mattered here because Evil Eye doesn't help with anything. Let's go Smarts. We'll take a little bit of damage and uh, Planted Evidence just sits here. Okay. Risk at the start of his turn. He's going to steal 10 shills from me and remove one Frisk. Yikes. I can go quick. Uh, resolve of two, though. Let's do this one straight away. He's a t he's targeting the smarts argument, which is fine. It's going to survive. It's got six health. So I think... Let's get rid of this one. Let's improvise. Just one second. Go ahead. Faulty was blocked at the stairs. Um. Okay, I think we'll try this combo again. We're going to go compliment, I think, to gain some influence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. I got the combo here. So we're going to gain influence, which is going to make these hit for their full amount. And then I can do um, Evil Eye. We'll go here for eight. And then we'll go here for cash. This thing lives. This thing's not getting targeted. Uh, and actually, you know what? Let's just put this on so it doesn't take any damage. How many characters are available in early access? So uh, two at the moment. We we unlocked. Uh, you unlock the first one after the first day, or you unlock the second one after the first day. And I think we're gonna try that one tomorrow. But I also wouldn't mind trying to complete a full run. So I'd, I'd be open to your guys' suggestions. Okay. 
Oh, that worked out okay. Oh, I shouldn't have did that. I'm actually going to play this card even though we have nothing to boost. I'm going to play this too. Just so that we get the higher amount from this. The first one went to there, which worked out good. I'd like to see a full run. You could always do a second character as a short YouTube series. Yeah, I, I, I lean more towards doing a full run as well. Um, but maybe we're able to finish a full run. And if there's time left at the end, we can just like try the new character as well. So he's going for permit. Whenever this takes damage, deal that much damage to a random enemy argument. Good. Good for me. Interrogate. Let's get rid of that. And this thing's taking eight. Let's just expend this card to get it. And save it. Throw this in. Why not? We're at the end of the fight. Expend doesn't really matter. Cards no longer gain XP for this negotiation. Fatigued. That's the first time we've seen that. And I'm guessing that's just because of um, maybe the fight's going on for too long. Got him. Have I gotten off the monster train? Uh, not totally. It's just that people weren't like, people weren't that interested in watching it, it seemed. So I kind of got the impression that um, since people weren't watching it that much, that it wasn't something I needed to continue. But I've had a lot of people asking about it. So it's kind of a tough say. Okay, three smarts and a vulnerability. So this is like the previous version of what we had upgraded. Improvise a zero cost card from your discard pile or, the, or another evil eye. <sighs> Nothing. Here, finally, our first graft upgrade. Sick. Steal up to six composure. Sure. Remove cludger, and now we got stone cludger. Okay. I still feel like that one's hit or miss, because enemies don't put up a lot of composure, I find. Should try salt and sanctuary? I have. I have, brother. Leech gestures to a nearby guard who sends Durno over with a help with a painful kick. Off train's a gate game, but so many people are playing it, it just becomes too much content in the same game to watch. A slave to the viewership stats? Uh no. But um you gotta keep in mind, like, I do this full time. So if people aren't watching something that's taking a lot of time to produce. You can better put your time to other stuff, right? Because I love the game, but sometimes viewership doesn't line up with it. It's unfortunate, but that's that's how it is.